word of God becomes a light for our path. You and I are called to extend a smile, to extend a work of mercy. kutoka makao makuu ya Runinga Captain eneo la Karen kwenye Jimbo kuu la Nairobi kiwa ni tare tisa mwezi wa tisa mwaka wa 2022 hujambo popote pale ulipo mpendo mtazamaji wa Runinga Captain hapa tumejisatiti kukuletea kipindi cha uvumbuzi wa wiki ambapo tunakuletea ujumbe kutoka viongozi tofauti tofauti wa kanisa katoliki lakini kwanza tupate vidokezo Baba mtakatifu Yohane Paulo wa kwanza atangazwa mwenye heri huku waumini hapa nchini wakiombea kutangazwa pia kwa mtumishi wa Mungu Morris Cardinal Tunga. Mungu huitimiza hadi zake kwa binadamu afunza askofu mkuu wa Jimbo kula Mombasa Mwashamu Martin Kivuva. Mambo yakienda vizuri ni sawa yakeanza kuona magumu tunashika yetu daraja takatifu la upadri ni taji ya milele asema askofu John Obala owa wa Jimbo la Gong remember you are a priest forever siku ya elimu ya kikatoliki kwenye Jimbo kula Nairobi yaadhimishwa katika shule upili ya mangu but god has also given us another body that we should love Watawa wa shirika la mtakatifu Benedicto waadhimisha miaka hamsini ya huduma hapa nchini. Si kama Benediktini tupo hapa leo mwaka huu kumshukuru Mungu na kutambua uwepo wake ndani ya sala zetu na kazi tunazozifanya. Karibu kwa taarifa kamili jina langu ni Arbe Bonaya taarifa yetu yaanzia Vatican. Dominika tarehe 4 mwezi wa Septemba hatimaye ni siku ambayo ilitarajiwa kwa hamu kubwa kuona mfasi wa Petero aliyekuwa baba mtakatifu Yohane Paulo wa kwanza akinuliwa kuwa mwenye heri. Misa takatifu ya kumtangazwa mwenye heri ilifanyika katika uwanja wa kanisa kula mtakatifu Petero mjini Vatican. Misa takatifu ya kumtangaza mwenye heri ilifanyika katika uwanja wa kanisa kuu la mtakatifu Petro mjini Vatican ikiongozwa na baba mtakatifu Francisco akisaidiana na Makelo Kardinali Semararo mwenyekiti wa baraza la Vatican na kuwatangaza watakatifu Makadinali maaskofu na maelfu ya waamini na mahujaji kutoka pande zote za dunia walihudhuria ibada hiyo ya kutangazwa mwenye heri Yohane Paulo wa kwanza aliyekuwa baba mtakatifu kwa siku 33 tu Baba mtakatifu katika utangulizi wa homilia yake alisema kwamba mtindo wa Mungu ni tofauti kwa sababu yeye hatumii mahitaji yetu vibaya hatumii kamwe udhaifu wetu kujikuza yeye mwenyewe badala ya kuvutiwa na umaarufu yeye anaomba kila mmoja kuangamua kwa umakini sababu ambazo zinawafanya kumfuata na matukio ya ufu si huo baba mtakatifu francisco aliendelea kusema mwenye heri mpya alihisi kwa namna hiyo furaha ya injili bila wasiwasi akipenda hadi mwisho kwa kujivika umaskini wa mfuasi kwa kuachana na mali lakini hasa kushinda vishawishi vya kujiweka mbele Mwishoni aliwahimiza waumini kuomba baba mtakatifu Yohane Paulo wa kwanza ili wapate tabasamu la roho lililowazi lisilodanganya kwa maneno yake kila ambacho yeye mwenyewe alikuwa akiomba yake Michael Ndengwa na ujumbe ni ujumbe ya baba mtakatifu Francisco ambaye amesema kuwa mtindo wa Mungu ni tofauti na ya binadamu kwa sababu binadamu yeye hutumia mahitaji yetu uh, 
samahani yeye hatumii mahitaji yetu vibaya na huko ayakijiri hapa nchini waumini kwenye jimbo kuu la Nairobi waliadhimisha kumbukumbu ya 19 baada ya kifo cha mwadhama Morris Michael Kardinali Otunga Kardinali Otunga ambaye alikuwa askofu wa kwanza mzalendo wa jimbo kuu la Nairobi aliaga dunia tarehe sita mwezi wa tisa mwaka wa mbili na tatu ibada ya misa kwa heshima yake iliongozwa na mwashamu askofu mkuu Philip Anyolo askofu wa jimbo kuu la Nairobi akishirikiana na mwadhama John Cardinal Njue Askofu mkuu Anyolo alimtaja mtumishi wa Mungu Cardinal Otunga kama shujaa wa imani na mzalendo ambaye mchango wake katika historia ya taifa letu hauwezi kusaulika It is just an event like any other event but looking at it from the point of view of faith the faith of our fathers the faith of that we were in, inherited we have inherited from uh, our fathers the faith of our founders here in the church and today the faith of our our father and cardinal otunga we can thank god for the great things that have happened I was reminded in these moments as we prayed for the peace to go on to extend within our country and in the hearts of every individual of one of one of, one of us the role that his eminence played in the time of independence during our country's getting independence I was informed and i was very happy aliwataka waumini wote kumiga mfano wa mtumishi wa Mungu kardinali utunga wa kuishi kwa unyenyekevu God of God lived in the church and has left us a hell legacy in the church it has also go down into prayer to become like the one whose life our lives is in to become like the one whose life our lives is in is to continue learning to become like God himself he believed this his way of life shows that but he wanted to become like one Kumbuka ili atangaze kwa mwenye heri lazima muujiza ufanyike na uidhinishwe na afisi ya baba mtakatifu inayohusika na kutangazwa watakatifu ibada kumbukumbu hiyo ilifanyika Jumaine tare sita katika kanisa la bustani ya ufufuko ama Restoration Garden kwenye eneo la Karen ambapo amelazwa kardinali Otunga na tukiachana na hiyo Jumapili ya na tatu kipindi cha mwaka askofu mkuu Martin Kivuva wa Jimbo Kuu la Mombasa aliongoza misa takatifu kutoka katedrali ya roho mtakatifu kwenye jimbo hilo Nainua macho kwa milima msahada unatoka wapi Askofu Kivuva alianza mahubiri yake kwa kusema kuwa Msaada wa kila Mkristo unatoka kwake Mwenyezi Mungu aliyeumba bingu na nchi huku akilinganisha masomo ya siku hiyo na historia mfalme Sulaimani. Saada watoka kwa Mungu aliyeumba bingu na dunia. Tas izansa amejigundua kama kiongozi msaada unatoka wapi na mnakumbuka Sulemani baada alipopewa muda na akawa uso au sura kwa sura na Mungu alimwambia Mungu tafadhali naomba tu busara sihitaji utajiri au mambo mengine so utajiri huu ambao ataweza kuongoza taifa la Mungu akiendelea na mahubiri yake alisema ya kwamba Mungu hutimiza ahadi zake kwa binadamu. Binadamu yoyote ule hata wetu wetu wa zamani wazee waleona mambo yamekwama kuna labda ukame kuna changamoto nyingi aina mbalimbali. Kila kabila lilikuwa na kundi lao la kwenda chini ya mbuyu, chini ya mti fulani, chini ya mlima fulani. 
kuongea na huyo Mungu wao. Wana wa Israeli walipokuwa jangwani wamefunguliwa na wameanza safari mambo ya chacha wakawa hawana wana njaa Kenya kuna njaa sana wakati huu wakawa wana maji wakawa wana chakula Mwishoni Musa akasema niacheni niende mlimani akaenda mlimani kuongea na Mungu Na tunaambiwa Musa aliporudi japo aliwaacha waendelee na mambo ya kawaida ya kumsifu Mungu walikuta ameanza yao na haya ndiyo lifanya Musa kawa mekasirika Kazi tupa zile sheria kumi pale Binadamu sisi Tuko hivyo Mambo ya kienda vizuri ni sawa Ya kianza kuona magumu Tunashika yetu Akimalizia homilia yake aliwaomba wa kristu wawe wa aminifu Na wasile watu wa kukata tamaa Nani ya tatutenga na neno, na, neno la mu, na, na neno la mungu Ni njaa, ni kiu, ni umaskini Hakuna dinalo tutenga. But be patient, God is not finished with you. Kuna wale unakata tamaa rahisi sana. Oh, basi kama ni hivi na ikai. Ni nyumbani, siyui kulitokia nini, huyo mze, ah, mze na akai. Huyo baba akai, huyo mama akai. No, 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 no. God is not finished with you. And history shows kwamba God was not finished with his people of Israel. Walipo enda utumwani, 40 years 40 years Babeli wanangoja wengine wakaingia madhehebu mengine Isaiah na manabii wengine wanawambia please don't give up time will come This is the time we will tell ourselves the same kwamba God's time is the best Nikiripotia uvumbuzi wa wiki mimi ni Maureen Kimani hiyo ni taarifa yake Morin Kimani na ni ujumbe wa askofu mkuu Martin Kivuva ambaye pia ni mwenyekiti wa baraza la maskofu hapa nchini almaarufu KCCB ambaye alimiza waumini kutokata tamaa mbali na changamoto wanazozipitia kwenye taarifa zaidi kutoka Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Nairobi Padre Bernard Maura aliongoza misa Jumapili ya 23 ya mwaka kutoka kanisa la Mtakatifu Teresa wa Calcutta eneo la Umoja Mbali na ibada takatifu pia ilikuwa ni maadhimisho ya sita ya Ekaristi takatifu kwenye parokia hiyo kwenye utangulizi wa mahubiri yake Padre Moora aliwarai wa Kristo wawe watulivu na kuendelea kuhubiri amani upendo na ushirikiano katika familia na kwenye jamii kwa jumla Aidha aliwahimiza waumini kuepukana na tamko la ukabila na chuki hata baada ya uchaguzi I will stop being a motor being This will stop me you know from loving you It won't change me to be a Tanzanian or to be a business but I'll remain a humble a bona fide member a Kenyan citizen Nikiripotia uvumbuzi wa wiki mimi ni Maureen Kimani na kwingineko kutoka Jimbo Kuu la Nairobi Padre Edwin Uja aliongoza misa Dominika ya 23 ya kipindi cha kawaida katika kanisa kuu la familia takatifu almaarufu Holy Family Basilica iliyoko kwenye Jimbo la Nairobi Nenda. Akianza mahubiri yake Shemase Nathan Mali alisema kwamba hekima ya kweli haitoki duniani kwa wanadamu bali hutoka kwa Mungu aliyeumba mbingu na dunia na kwamba hekima ya kweli haitoki duniani haitoki kwa masomo ama elimu hekima ya kweli inatoka kwa Mungu inatoka kwa Mungu na mtu mmoja akasema if you want if you lack knowledge go to school you understand if you lack knowledge go to school but if you lack wisdom get on your knees and pray for that wisdom hekima ya kweli inatoka kwa Mungu Akipiga hatua aliwahimiza waumini kukoma kuwa hukumu wengine juu ya makosa na dhambi zao kwa kuwa hekima ya kweli ni kutoa hukumu wengine kwa hivyo sisi kama wakristo si tusihukumu wengine hekima ya ukweli ni kutoa hukumu wengine 
to direct them waambia kwamba najua unaweza kuwa mtu mzuri Shemasi Mali alihitimisha kwa kusema kwamba Kristo anawataka watu kumpenda na kumfuata hata ingawa wanakataliwa na vikundi vingi vya watu kama vile familia na marafiki Kristo anatuambia siku ya leo kama familia yetu kama kabila letu kama tribe yetu kama ka group yetu kokun itakuwa hindrance to his love and to him you must hate them you must give them self less importance less regard less regard Felix Juma nikiripotia runinga ya Capchin Mubiri wa siku hiyo alikuwa Chemazi Nadan Mali ambaye ametaja kuwa hekima ya Mungu hekima ya kweli utoka tu kutoka Mungu na tukisalia papo hapo kwenye kanisa la Holy Family Basilica Padre Simon Nganga aliongoza misa ya saa na nusu za homilia yake kwa kusema kwamba binadamu akiwa na Mungu ana uwezo wa kufanya lolote kwa jina lake ila bila ya Mungu basi binadamu hana maana yoyote Whenever a human person is with God he is And without him he is nothing Or what you say he is nothingness Akizingatia muktadha wa masomo ya siku hiyo alisema kwamba neno kuchukia aliyosema Kristo Yesu inamaanisha kutoa ahadi kamili kwa Mungu bila ya kubabaika wala kuivunja. And what we have heard in the gospel of Luke it gives us what hating means it is loving less and giving the total commitment to God. Alimalizia kwa kuwakumbusha waumini maneno ya Kristo kwamba yeyote asiyeubeba msalaba wake na kumfata hawezi kuwa mtume wake Yesu akifafanua maneno hayo Padre Nganga alisema kwamba msalaba ni chombo cha kifo ambacho Kristo anautumia kukaa ndani yetu Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple Jesus calls us to carry our crosses and a cross is an instrument of death it means we have to die continuously we have to die from our own selves so that god may live in us hiyo ni taarifa yake felix juma taarifa hiyo yatupeleka mapumziko madogo lakini kwako usibanduke The word of God becomes a light for our path. You and I are called to extend a smile, to extend a work of mercy. Capuchin TV, huduma katoliki ya uinjilishaji. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life and sweetness and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile Show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb Jesus O merciful O loving O sweet virgin Mary Amen To get Hail Holy Queen as your skiza tune send skiza followed by code 7381025 and send it to 811 
with kids. Daily devotions for Africa. Tune in every day at 6 a.m., 6.45 a.m., 8.30 a.m., 12 noon, 1.30 p.m., 4.30 p.m., 6 p.m., and 8.30 p.m. Only at Capuchin TV. This is to help kids grow in faith, wisdom, and develop a habit of daily prayers and build their relationship with Jesus Christ and church. Train the young in the way they should go, even when old, they will not swap from it. Living Faith Kids. Daily Devotions for Africa. Capuchin TV. Kitambulisho Katoliki. The Word of God becomes a light for our path. You and I are called to extend a smile, to extend a work of mercy. Karibu kwa awamu ya pili ya uvumbuzi wa wiki hii kutoka hapa Runinga ya Kapchina tukielekea kwenye jimbo Katoliki la Marsabit Padre David Mbogo aliongoza misa ya Jumapili ya 23 ya kipindi cha kawaida katika kanisa la Mtakatifu Don Bosco eneo la Cor. <tipa> Padre Bogo aliwakubusha waumini kuwa wanadamu wanaunganishwa kwa jabu fulani. Na ninahakika kama watu wameweza kutafakari sana. Ninaonyesha wewe ukiwa hapa na mwanadamu yeyote ambaye yuko popote duniani sisi tunashikana kwa jambo fulani. Kwa sababu kama kitu ambacho kinaadhiri watu kutoka China pia kinaweza kikaadhiri watu ambao wako hasa watu ambao wako poor ina maana sisi kama wanadamu tumeshikana kuna kitu ambacho kinatushikanisha Aliendelea kusema kuwa kupitia uunganisho wanadamu wanapata kufahamu uwepo wa Mungu katika maisha yao Kwa hivyo sisi tunaposhikana sisi wenyewe wenyewe kama wanadamu pia tunashikana na Mwenyezi Mungu Padre Bogo alihitimisha mahubiri yake kwa kusisitiza kuwa waumini wao wasikivu wa neno la Mungu. Mwenyezi Mungu anaongea na sisi katika ukimya. Na ni vizuri tujitahidi tuanze kukaa wakati kila siku kila siku. Tuwe na mwanga wa tabakari kusikiliza Mwenyezi Mungu. Tusiwe tu tunakuja kanisani mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu na kuomba na kuomba na kusali na kupiga mangere, ukisa sema amen unapiga koti unaondoka. Kwa sababu kizungumza na mtu ni vizuri pia usikilize majibu yake. Na pia kama wewe una ngoma na ndao mengi mtu anasikiliza hii ajibu, asikilize hii aelewe. Sisi ni vizuri tuwe na muda ili tuweze kusikiliza roho ya Mungu kwa sababu kwa Mwenyezi Mungu yeye anaonyesha yale mambo ambayo tunapaswa kufanya. 
Hiyo ni taarifa yake Michael Kibadi. Shukran Michael na tukisonga mbele Jumamosi iliyopita tarehe ine mwezi huu katika shule ya upili ya Mangu wanafunzi wa shule mbalimbali za upili na za msingi pamoja na walimu wao walijumuika kusherekea siku ya elimu ya Kikatoliki kwenye jimbo kuu la Nairobi. Misa takatifu iliongozwa na mwadhama John Cardinal Njue. Mhubiri wa siku hiyo Padri Moses Karanja alitanguliza mahubiri yake kwa kusema kwamba Mungu amewafanya wanadamu kuwa kitu kimoja na kufanya matakwa yake kwa umoja. God has made us one. One unit. And the beauty is to work together. And other than that, not as individual, but God has also given us another body that we should love. And that is other people. Aida aliwakumbusha wote kwamba wakilinda walio kwenye familia zao kama mwili mmoja, basi hilo ni tendo la kujiweka katika mwili wa Kristo Yesu. When we protect those in our families as one body, that is the body of Christ. In the first reading Mwishoni aliwakumbusha kwamba wote wanahitaji ulinzi wa Mungu dhidi ya maovu ya ulimwengu na changamoto za dunia. We need protection from God from the dangers that are unforeseen that come into our life. And lastly, we need also to be led by God. Hatimaye kabla ya baraka za mwisho, mwadhama kardinali Njue alimshukuru Mungu kwa kuwezesha mambo yote ikiwemo uhai kwa kila mmoja. I am very grateful the almighty god the source of knowledge and the wisdom for enabling us to be here and celebrate in the Archdiocese of Nairobi 25th education day i thank you all for embracing this occasion and in a very special way the chief guest speaker kadabosis karanja Aida alisema kwamba furaha kubwa ni kufanya yale ambayo yanaendelea na kulandana na matakwa yake Mungu Mwenyezi. And the greatest joy for us is to do that which is in line with the purpose for which the Lord sent us into this world. Felix Juma Runinga ya Kapchin na tukisonga mbele siku ya Jumamosi iliyopita tarehe tatu katika jimbo kuu la Nairobi shirika la wanabedektini waliadhimisha sherehe ya miaka hamsini ya kuanzishwa kwa shirika hilo hapa nchini ibada ya misa iliongozwa na baba Abate John Imaya katika abasia ya Kristu mwana mfalme wa amani eneo la Tigoni Mhubiri wa siku hiyo Padri Moses Karanja alitanguliza mahubiri yake kwa kusema kwamba Mungu amewafanya wanadamu kuwa kitu kimoja na kufanya matakwa yake kwa umoja. God has made us one. Baba Abate Imai alianza humilia yake kwa kumshukuru Mungu kwa uwepo wake katika shirika hilo. Leo ni siku ya pekee kwetu hapa katika basia hii ya Kristo mfalme wa amani Tukemshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya wema wake katika maisha yetu na kutambua uwepo wake ndani ya yale yote ambayo tuna thubutu kuyafanya na kuyaishi katika maisha yetu ya kila siku Kwa hiyo sisi kama Benediktini tupo hapa leo mwaka huu kumshukuru Mungu na kutambua uwepo wake ndani ya sala zetu na kazi tunazozifanya. Alisisitiza kualika kila mmoja aige maisha ya mtakatifu Benedicto. Kutokana na maisha ya kila siku ambayo tunayaishi mu duniani, tukiangalia maisha ya mtakatifu Benedicto. Alivyoishi, unaweza fikiri ni mtu ambaye akili yake haikuwa inafanya kazi vizuri kiangalia historia yake vizuri it is a matter of persistence and consistency in faith if your faith is not consistent and persistent utaendelea kutapa tapa hapa na pale unatafuta hiki leo kesho unatafuta kile ukipati 
Alihitimisha homilia yake kwa kuahimiza kila muumini aweze kusikiliza kwa makini neno la Mungu na kuyatenda yale waliyoyasikia. Ndugu zangu, katika maisha yetu ya kila siku tulivyosikia katika somo la kwanza ambalo ni neno la kwanza katika kanuni ya mtakatifu Benedicto ya kwamba lazima tuwe watu wa kusikiliza sikiliza mwanangu sikiliza listening is a gift listening is a virtue listening is a value if you want to understand you must listen na tukisonga mbele juma ine tare sita mwezi wa septemba siku moja baada ya mahakama ya upeo kutoa maamuzi kuhusu kesi ya uchaguzi wa rais baraza la maskofu wa katoliki hapa nchini almaarufu kesi CB pamoja na viongozi wa dini mbalimbali mbali kwa mara nyingine waliungana kutoa wito wa amani taarifa yao ilitolewa kutoka nyumba ya ufungamano hapa jijini Nairobi Mwenyekiti wa baraza la maskofu kesi CB mwasham askofu mkuu Martin Kivuva Alipongeza wakenya kwa kujitokeza Agosti tisa kupiga kura na kudumisha amani hadi matokeo ya kesi kutangazwa. My dear brothers and sisters and all people of good will wherever you are we are heartily thank you for the uh, democratic maturity we have manifested this year by actively and peacefully participating in the 2022 elections Your commitment to peace and national cohesion is commendable. Alitoa himizo kwa Kenya wazidi kuombea viongozi waliowachagua ili waongozwe na Roho Mtakatifu. Let us join hands to continually pray for our nation and for the leaders at all levels just as we are called upon in our holy scriptures. And I quote Timothy 2 verse 1 to 2 it reads I urge them first of all that petitions and prayers and intercessions and thanksgiving be made for all people for kings and all those in authority that we may live peacefully and quiet lives in good in godliness and holiness. Naye mwenyekiti wa baraza la dini hapa nchini Padre Joseph Mutie Aliwapongeza viongozi wote waliochaguliwa na kuahimiza watumikia waliochagua kwa moyo moja. Dear brothers and sisters, we congratulate you on your election to the position now that you now hold. We now urge you to take seriously the responsibility Kenyans have bestowed on you. Do not destroy our nation through corruption and selfish gains. Rather, in humility and sense of service, focus on wholesome development of the nation. Vile vile, Padre Patrick Dego Mutai, ambaye ni moderator wa kanisa la PCA, alimpongeza Rais Mteule William Ruto na kumkubusha kuwa yeye ni kioo cha wa Kenya. Your Excellency, Dr. William Samoei Ruto, we congratulate you on your confirmation as the president elect. As the president you be the symbol of national unity we urge you to be a leader of all Kenyans regardless of their political ethnic or religious leanings by demonstrating in word and deed justice and equality we are praying for you that god will enable you to inspire confidence dignity and grace for all Kenyans. Alimomba awaongoze wa Kenya kwa pamoja bila kujali nani aliyemchagua na nani aliyekosa kumchagua. Your Excellency, we congratulate and appreciate you as you conclude your term as the president. You have led the nation over the last 10 years during which Kenyans experienced peace and great leaps in development. We further appreciate your expressed commitment to a peaceful transition which greatly progresses our democracy. 
You remain in our prayers that God will bless you and guide you so that you continue to pray a role in our na kwingineko Jumai iliyopita tarehe moja mwezi wa tisa mwashamu John Obala wa askofu wa Jimbo Katoliki la Ngong aliwapa sakramenti ya daraja takatifu jumla ya mapadri kumi na wane kutoka mashirika mane pamoja na Jimbo la Ngong ibada hiyo ilifanyika katika katedrali ya mtakatifu Yosefu mfanyikazi mjini Ngong iliudhuriwa na mamia ya waumini pamoja na mapadri na watawa Kwenye utangulizi wa maubiri yake, Askofu Bala alisema mchungaji mwema ni yule anayeacha utajiri na mambo yanayo ya enzi na kumfata Yesu. So one can only be a good shepherd when one is with Christ in charity in total offering. It's not like a hired person who works for money. The hired person's contract does not include giving his life for the sheep because his concern is the benefit, is the profit, is the money. But the true shepherd is guided by love aidha aliwahimiza mapadri hao kuwa waaminifu katika imani yao pasipo kuvutwa na maovu yanayoweza kuwatenganisha na wito wao we become shepherds after the lord's own heart will priests prophets and kings shepherds remain faithful to god shall we remain faithful to god alipiga hatua na kuarai mapadri kwa ombea wote wanaopitia changamoto za aina mbalimbali knowing that when we pray It's not only for ourselves. It's not even only for the faithful, but for the whole world. I exhort you today. I exhort you to pray for the whole world. Whether you feel like it or not If you grasp the purpose for which you pray let that motivate you let that move you to be faithful to your prayer Mwishoni mahubiri yake mashamu Obala aliwakumbusha mapadri wote ule kwamba daraja takatifu la upadri ni ishara tosha kwamba watavaa taji la upadri milele huko akiwahimiza kumhusisha Yesu Kristo katika chochote wanachokifanya Always fall back on and count on the presence of the great shepherd the head of the church Jesus Christ who will never leave you alone Remember you are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek Pasavia in your priestly vocation exercising your authority of shepherd with joy simplicity and love Huo ni ujumbe wake askofu John Obala wa wa Jimbo la Ngong ambaye ametaja daraja takatifu la upadri kama taji la milele huko akiwahamasisha mapadri kumhusisha Yesu chochote wanachokifanya taarifa hiyo atufikisha kilele cha uvumbuzi wa wiki hii kutoka hapa Runinga Captain shukrani zangu za dhati kwa wale wote waliofanikisha uvumbuzi wa wiki kutoka hapa Runinga la Captain jina langu ni Arbe Bonaya endelea kutazama Runinga Captain kitambulisho katoliki
word of God becomes a light for our path. You and I are called to extend a smile, to extend a work of mercy. Capuchin TV, Huduma Katoliki ya Uinjilishaji. Living Faith Kids Daily Devotions for Africa I'm going to follow Jesus. This is to help kids grow in faith, wisdom, and develop a habit of daily prayers and build their relationship with Jesus Christ and church. Train the young in the way they should go. Even when old, they will not swerve from it. Living Faith Kids Daily Devotions for Africa God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. My name is Faustina Shadia. Welcome to Living Faith Kids Daily Devotions for Africa. Today is fi Friday, September 9th. Today's reading comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 84, verse 5. It says, Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are, are sent to pilgrimage. Dear friends, through the psalmist, God has given us good news. Blessed are those whose strength is in you. There is a blessing when we give, we believe and trust that our strength comes from God. Beloved, we are called to believe that our, our strength comes from God. For example, when you have an exam, you don't have to believe in your knowledge alone to or ask your friend during the exam to help you or look to their papers to pass. You must believe in God's grace and in your knowledge by working hard. This is what pleases God as he continues to bless us. Let's pray. Lord, in you is our strength. Thank you. Living Faith Kids Daily Devotions for Africa I'm going to follow Jesus. This is to help kids grow in faith, wisdom, and develop a habit of daily prayers and build their relationship with Jesus Christ and church. Train the young in the way they should go. Even when old, they will not swerve from it. Living Faith Kids Daily Devotions for Africa